usually I'm a little bit more organized than this, but I gotta hurry up to get this video recorded while I still have some sunlight outside and while I am still slightly in the mood to not change into something more comfortable. <laughs> Hi, this is India with Bags and Lifestyle. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for giving my channel a try. I typically load videos every Wednesday at 8 p.m. and every other Saturday at 8 a.m. I was about to say 8 p.m., but 8 a.m. covering topics related to exactly what the title of this channel is called, handbags, whether that's vintage, secondhand, or brand new, as well as lifestyle topics. So that can include tips, other products that I'm trying, as well as fashion-related conversational topics. So if anything anything that I mentioned is interesting to you, definitely consider subscribing as well as giving me a thumbs up. And to my returning people, thank you so much for coming back for another video. And we will go ahead and get started with today's topic. So as you can see from the title, we are gonna be talking about great picks. I don't even remember how many I have. Let's get this video started so I can get over to my sweatpants. <laughs> All right, so this, I'm gonna be talking about camera bags. So this is gonna be just really some suggestions or top picks that I feel are great items, things that I've been eyeing, options that I've been eyeing as far as camera bags go. I do not have a camera bag in my collection. However, I think camera bags are a great starting point to if straight starting point or a great option for several reasons. First off, Camera bags are usually on the lower price point when you're talking about in, when we're saying entry level price point into luxury. So even if it's a contemporary brand like your Coach, your your Tory Burch, or if we're talking on higher up, so your Chanel, your YSL, so on, so forth, Gucci. Usually camera bags are at more of that entry level price point for whatever that fashion house is. I think I have a theory on the reason why. But a few of my, uh, my theory is that it is a, uh, less effort to design a camera bag. It's really a simplistic shape and doesn't take a lot of design features and aspects to make a camera bag. So it's already a tried and true classic. So really there's not too much you can, there's not too much that goes into it is how I feel. Also, there's usually less hardware on a camera bag so for those reasons, I feel like when you add more hardware, you add more materials or anything like that, that's when your price point starts to seem to tend to tick upwards. So they're a great price point, great entry level spot for people. Or if you tried it all and you haven't taken a look at camera bags like me, for example, which I am considering a camera bag, then I think they're a good option to go with. So also with that, it seems like, and I love pre-owned, so if you have not checked out my channel before, you'll see a few of other videos where I've talked about pre-owned or vintage. Either way, vintage is pre-owned, <laughs> pre but anyway. Um, they usually keep their shape better than any other style. Now there are other styles like structured bags that really keep their shape very well, but camera bags are on that list. When I'm scrolling through and looking, a lot of times, a camera bag has kept its shape better than some of the other styles. So for those reasons, I think camera bags are a great option and wanted to give you a couple to think about and consider and maybe even buy if you really like it. So we'll go ahead and get started. So first up, let me look over here to the left so I can see which one we're starting with first. And it's on a another page one second first up is going to be a pre-owned option so if i didn't mention this before which i don't think i did i'm going to do a mixture of pre-owned as well as new so if you are not a person who you're like i don't want a pre-owned bag i want to go brand new i got some options for you but if you're open like me i think this whole list will be a great treat for you all right so like i said first up is going to be this gucci soho disco bag is i believe the name of it not Gucci Soho Disco, I'm sorry. It actually is called the Gucci Webby Shoulder Bag. So this was gonna be pre-owned and if it's still available, you'll at, at the time that I'm uploading the video, then I will leave the link for it down below if you wanna check it out. But I really like this bag because even though I'm not too much of the Gucci Web print that they do, which is that green and red band of fabric, I think this one is a nice touch of it without being way too much. I also love the fact that you don't see Gucci listed anywhere on the front of this bag. You see the B, which is a 
staple in the Gucci house, but you also just see that web print or that web fabric, which is red and green. So if you're familiar with Gucci, you know what that means. You know that it means Gucci, but if you're not, you don't see Gucci anywhere. So you just see a cool bag with a beautiful B on it and it looks really nice. It's simple, it's cool, it's classic and useful. And you can move, you can, you know, have the best of both worlds. So if you are a person where you love these items, you love luxury, but you're not, you don't really want it to kind of scream luxury for whatever reason, this is a good option for you. Now, the one thing that I don't like about this bag is the fact that it is a dark brown. I'm not a fan of dark brown bags. It's really dark, so it may even come off as black, but keep that in mind, it is a chocolate brown bag. So let me know your thoughts on this one. Also, let me mention, I probably have put in, I will probably put it in the title, which is all these bags will be priced under $1,500. All right, you're welcome. <laughs> All right, so number two in my picks is going to be another pre-owned, and that is going to be the Bottega Veneta Nodini. I believe it's how I'm looking over at my notes here. Uh, Nodini crossbody. I saw a beautiful one in rose gold on the Fashion File website yesterday, actually. So they come in all different colors. This is a great nod to and staple as far as like that webbing pattern that that intercotto pattern that Bottega Veneta does but I like how understated it is I like how classic it is and it has that you know general shape like a camera bag even though it's not really a camera bag but hey camera bags can be cross body bags and so the general shape is there but I really like this one and it's a classic style from an iconic fashion house and a great price point. And I don't remember the exact price, but I'm pretty sure this one came in at under a thousand dollars. Next one up is also gonna be pre-owned. Can you tell that I'm partial to pre-owned? <laughs> but this one is a great option and it's a Prada bag. Let me look at the name from my notes here. So this one is actually called the, I will butcher that. We're gonna throw it. You'll see the name down in the description if you're really interested. But I really like this one. I love that it has the Prada logo. It's not screaming Prada, but you know, it's a nod to it. You can see it. I think the color is very beautiful. I like that the strap has a padded portion that goes on your shoulder, which would make it a lot more comfortable. And I think this one is a nice option and it looks like it will be excellent and wear well over time. So I think this one is a great option and let me know your thoughts. So we're gonna get next to a, next one up is going to be a new item and this is going to be the YSL Lou crossbody or is it Lou camera? I know it's the Lou. <laughs> so not the Lou Lou, but the Lou. So I like this one. It's a beautiful camera bag. I love that it just is that kind of like so black style. So it has the logo, but it's not really as obvious because it is black as well. So it blends very well, camouflages itself into the, uh, the leather. And I love the quilted pattern. I think this is a great option. And like I said, for all of the reasons that I talked about cross bodies being, I'm sorry, camera bags being a great option, I think this one hits the bill and is a really cute one to go for. Also, the nice thing about the Sew Black is, at least if it's not gold or silver hardware, you can't see the scratches on it. Why? Because it blends in so perfect and so it definitely helps out with maintenance. So it's less maintenance, I feel like, involved. Now, I feel like maybe the Sew Black, depending on the how the hardware is created, it could lead to chipping or something like that. But... I think this is a good option and I will stop rambling. Let me know, thumbs it up if you like it. Next up is going to be a camera-like shape. So it's not exactly a camera bag, but it does have that kind of structure to it. So by now you should see the picture of it and hopefully you agree with me, but I really like this bag. I will say that probably out of all of them, this is my favorite. It is pre-owned, so you have to go on the pre-owned market to get it because YSL no longer makes this style. But it is the, I'm going to cheat here because I couldn't remember, the De Poudre Y Quilted. I really like this one. I love the Y Quilted, y, the Y Quilt, so it basically is kind of part of the logo. As well as on the side, I believe it says YSL on the side, so it's a little bit more subtle. I... I just can't say enough about how much I like this style and it's something that I have been eyeing. Maybe I'll jump out there and get it, but I have a gold bag for probably 
I have a gold bag that I want to get, so I'm going to have to wait. But this is absolutely on the I want list, but it's not going to be I want this this year probably. <laughs> I'm going to have to put it on the list for next year. All right, but let me know your thoughts. I think this one is cool, unique, and hits all the bells for me. Now, this one is probably the smallest bag that I have on here, and it's going to be the Marc Jacobs Snapshot. I love the logo that Marc Jacobs did with this bag. I love that it's two compartments. It is on the small size, side, sorry. I have seen videos on it as well as seen it in person. I love the finishing of it. I love that they have the different colored straps to go with it that makes it cool, funky, and fun. But it is little. So just keep that in mind if you think about this one. You will, if you're able to consolidate everything down or you're, you're not going far, this one would be a great one to go with but it is on the small side. I, I do like it, but I feel like it's a little bit too small for me, but may, hey, everybody has their own needs and maybe this is not too small for you. And it's at a great price point. I, I think it, it definitely rain came in at under $400 if I remember correctly. So this was a great one to jump out there and get. So last stuff is going to be the first time I've actually talked about this brand before. I know everybody has been talking about purchasing, reviewing the, the the sneakers, but I haven't seen any videos. I've searched a couple of times and have not seen anybody talk about their handbags. I actually had to talk myself off the ledge, but I'll go ahead and let you know which one it is so then I can continue to ramble. And it is going to be Golden Goose. So this one is the star bag. Love it, camera bag type of shape. I also love the biggest thing that I really love about these bags are the unique colors that they use. This was a graffiti print. The one that almost took me off the <laughs> that I had to talk myself off the ledge for yesterday was one that um, actually it's um it's like this beautiful almost metallic type of greenish color and it has Swarovski crystals. Look you when you have, it was laminated sheepskin with Swarovski crystals, that did it for me. And I was like, oh, maybe I really want it. Especially after I saw a bunch of them were sold out, not that same style, but not the same color, but all of their other, a lot of their other styles had sold out from the Golden Goose website. But let me know if you've seen the bag in person. I would love to get your opinions on it because I'm interested. I'm a little hesitant because I feel like Golden Goose is known for their sneakers, not their handbags. Doesn't mean that they don't make good handbags, but I'm a little hesitant. I also, just being completely honest here, I do feel it is priced higher than it should be, especially with them not being really, I feel like, not being really known for their handbags but more known for their sneakers. I do feel like the price point is leading or getting closer to that Gucci range, which I feel like they don't have that cloud of Gucci. But I do really like the star bag and I love that the pocket on the front, you can slip your phone into it. I absolutely love when I can get to my phone without getting going into my handbag. That is the absolute kind of ideal bag for me that I have a place to put my phone without having to open up my bag. So this one fits the bill there. And like I said, I had to talk myself off the ledge because I really, really was seriously considering that uh, green color that I saw on the website. But I really like this graffiti pattern because it stays with your neutrals. It has black and white. And I feel like it will be absolutely a beautiful statement bag, especially with the cute little sneaker on the side. So definitely let me know your thoughts. This is gonna be my last one up and this is a brand new one also too. So we'll end with a new bag. And let me know your thoughts on the bags that I chose. If there are any other ones that you feel like should be on our radar, definitely throw those in the comments down below. I will put the links out there. So if it is still available at the time of posting, like I mentioned, you'll see the link down there. But if it's not, especially with the pre-owned, definitely keep looking. Keep the name in your mind and keep your sources Keep your sources out there searching. That's how I always am scouring the pre-love market. I am going on eBay. I go on other trusted, uh, what do I call them? I was about to say third party retailers, but I want to say other trusted consignment stores online to find them. They're just because it's it goes away right now does not mean it won't come back. So definitely keep searching it. But that these are my picks. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you're liking the video, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.